Hello, and welcome back to Circus Plays Subnautica. This is episode three, I believe. Um, and I played a little bit off camera on accident. I meant to hit record. We made the compass and we made the rebreather. Now, that was supposed to be episode three. Uh, we also explored, now this is still off camera, we also explored to the northwest a little bit, which I believe is where we're going to go now. So, we're kind of absent of any uh, direction right now. We kind of don't really know what to do. We went to the Aurora and we need laser cutters, uh, but we cannot make them. We don't know the ingredients. So, I think the next thing for us to do is to kind of expand a little bit and maybe uh, figure out exactly where we want to build our base. That, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Um, we're going to go to the shallows and check out this light pod. I believe that that is a good start. So, other than that, we're looking for silver, um, copper. I am guessing to build a base, we're going to need quite a bit of titanium, so... Uh, and we gotta be a little bit more vigilant, I think, about, uh, scanning things. Because, to be totally honest with you, um, I didn't really check all these crates, uh, that well. Like, you know, this counter, this just looked like debris to me. Uh, when I was accidentally playing, I should say, I kind of realized that these are a little bit more paramount and they should all be checked. So... We will get right on that. Now, a couple of other things I think that are kind of interesting. Um, we don't... Also, or we also... So, the other thing I was going to say before I was, I was looking at the fish. Got a little got a little sidetracked. These things are hideous. Um, I don't know how to progress the story. So, as I was about to say, it's been a couple of seconds now. We need to build a base, kind of figure out a place to expand, and I think we need to start exploring a little bit more. We need to kind of um, create more a bigger safety net so we can do everything that we need to do. Because right now, I think we're kind of running out of resources simply because we don't have the means of going from point A to point B very well. Like, yeah, we've got the Sea Glide, and we've actually got Cyclops blueprints, but um, what we don't have is uh, resources for a long journey. So eventually we're going to mine out our starting area and kind of, I think, be a little bit starved if, if we don't expand. So Again, I'm not too sure if uh, resources respawn. And I've said this a couple of times now. I'm guessing the fauna uh, does, but I'm guessing that the minerals and salt deposits and what have you don't. So I don't really know what makes for for a good base location. I am thinking it should be, you know, a decent distance from the pod, but maybe not too far away. We want to be able to conveniently traverse between the two, I think. We're not done with the pod by any means. Um, now, the other thing that I do know of, and this is kind of uh, an unintentional spoiler, is that <clears throat> when I was playing off-camera, I was swimming in this direction and I found land. So, I know it's out there. And I think our goal should be to find it and explore it. Oh, laser cuddle, cutter fragment. It's funny because I feel like I've swam almost the exact same route, yet never found any of this last time. I do know that some of these things... Oh, another laser cutter, okay. So look at that, we're already making... Uh, pretty Oxygen good progress. Perhaps it was a sign uh, that the recording process was bugged. Well, the recording process actually wasn't bugged. I've been playing around with the graphics settings for this game, trying to get the most stable frame rate. 
and um, it just so happened that I turned on V-Sync and the whole game crashed. These things are creepy. Wow. A reef back. Red wart, okay. That's new. Okay, so barnacles pave the way to copper ore, of course. World papyrus. I think we should probably go up and get some air, but I kind of want to scan this guy too. Okay, so that's the Aurora. Now, <clears throat> I believe where we were going was to the northwest. Uh, what I'm seeing down below doesn't necessarily look familiar. Uh, this seems pretty deep, actually. A lot deeper than it looked. We do have the uh, the rebreather, which you know we might uh, need to start bringing with us. Lead, okay, not quite what we're looking for, but I believe that was water. More water, okay. So supply crates tend to see tend to uh, drop water. <laughs> Propulsion cannon fragment. Cut open to access. Okay, we should probably start um, battery charger fragment. Interesting. Uh, we should probably start carrying uh, laser or not laser cutters. Um, what was it? The uh, the rebreather with us because we're kind of limited in what we can do right now. And now, we also still need to find some silver. I believe we might have one piece of silver, I and mean, we definitely need two for the wiring kit. We have most of the parts for the habitat builder. Uh, we're missing one thing, and I want to say it's the wiring kit, but... Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, so this is what we have just explored. The game's not creepy at all. What is this? This looks like something. New blueprint acquired. New blueprint acquired. Perfect. Okay, I thought I saw another uh, one of those crates down here. That looked like silver to me. That's titanium, lead, salt, I believe. How's our inventory looking? We're good. We're gooch. Okay, so this is the other thing that we should probably check out and then we'll keep heading northwest. I feel like um, the floater device, I forget the proper name of it, but there is a uh, floater device that we might want to consider uh, utilizing. I would assume that that brings you back up to the surface quicker. But you know what they say about assumptions. Oh wow, that popping. That's rough, but we'll manage. So I don't believe that we can craft the laser cutters yet. I think we still need one more uh, blueprint. I could be mistaken. We'll take that. Bioreactor oh. fragment. Are you hostile to me? 
It is. Oh my god. Tiger plant. Okay. Well, we know not to mess with those. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, nothing in there. It's hard to remember what we've explored and what we've had. Um, but we'll keep heading uh, northwest, I believe. Uh, let's get something to drink real quick. We got a bunch of disinfectant water, so. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, so let's take care of some business now that we're on the surface. We will eat, we will heal, we will drink. Okay. Now we're probably going to need to cure uh, some more food. Oh, we got a radio message. What is this? This looks man-made. Alien vent, what? I mean, I guess we are on an alien world, so. Well, my intuition tells me that that's probably exhaust from something, so. It's unfortunate that we don't have uh, any kind of beacon. It's also very dark down here. Whoa. I do know that those things are hostile. I don't know the names of them. Erosion patterns on the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. That's kind of interesting. Man, there's some depth to this place. Uh, I don't like the fact that we can't see the C4. And we only have 18% of the power of this thing re remaining. So, I thought that we would find the island out here. But we're kind of crossing the threshold of where I'm comfortable exploring, which is why we need the habitat. So maybe uh, this direction is kind of where we want to uh, start thinking about it. Man, I'm getting kind of uncomfortable swimming on the surface at night. I'm not going to lie. Oh, God. Oh, wow. I do not like that. I do not like that at all. So this is the farthest I've ever been from the pod. Now, as I said, off camera, I did find the, uh, the island, but I have no idea where it is, so. Well, either way, I would suggest that we probably aim uh, to build a base somewhere between here and the pod, which is now 2,000 meters away. I'm genuinely nervous um, to be out this far. Because we do have, so let me check here. So if we go to our blueprints, plasteel ingot, ultra strong synthetic construction material. Okay. 
Um, oh, and we can build a thermometer. Oh, that's that's uh, that's interesting. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? No, I am not certain. In fact, I have no idea what I'm doing. So please, please spare me. Okay, so we got 17 power on this thing, so we're probably going to have to build another one. I don't know if we can repair it or what. Um, I mean, I guess we built it for this purpose, so. Anywho, I really want to get out of this area. What is that? Is that where we were before? That's creeping me out. I don't like the fact that we're doing this at night. I, I think that's what we had previously explored. I really wish it was daylight, especially with only 10% power. I am more comfortable now that we can see the aurora. Um... I don't know if light would attract the these fish things. I would assume it would. I mean, that's logical to me. That's definitely a lot of uh, those. A lot of those fish, though. One hundred meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Now that is man-made. If I've ever seen a man-made device. What is that? Why is that glowing? The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint or terra vehicle signatures. Okay, so that glowing thing is probably similar to that guy. What is this? Can we scan this? No. I think a large uh, issue. It looked like a hand for a minute. Plant shelf. I think a large issue for us is we can't really carry the rebreather with us uh, while we do other things, especially if we want to uh, collect materials. Tree mushroom. I thought that said the mushroom for a second. I'm like, damn. Okay, um, this place looks creepy, but kind of calm. I, I could see us setting up some kind of shop over here. Seconds. I wish there was some indication of what biome we were in. Nope. 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 Mother trucker. Give me back my cooked fish. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Got her cooked fish back. Uh, you know, the music here is kind of peaceful, so. Oh, and we got the laser cutter fragment. So we can actually make that, which means we are probably free... Uh, to explore the Aurora. At least as far as I know. We do need that and a... What is this? That's a new fish. Uh, we do need that. A Reginald. We do need the laser cutter and a fire extinguisher if we're going to uh, explore the Aurora, I believe. That's that plant that's not nice to us. And that is... Another man-made object that... 
30 seconds. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, so... Oxygen. This might actually be a little tight. So, we don't have a beacon. Oh my god, we made it. I think we took a little bit of damage, but... We don't have a way of marking precisely where we are, which kind of sucks. So, I think we have explored this again. It's a little, it's a little finicky uh, for me, for my brain. I can't totally determine what we have and have not seen. Uh, I don't think we've been in here because I feel like we would have opened this door. <laughs> Nothing in these boxes. I believe that door to our right. I'm pointing right as if you guys can see. The door to our right needs a laser cutter. Actually, yes, we have been in here. Okay, so... The only problem now... Oh, I see. Yeah, we swam through the, um, the vents. Okay. So th this biome seems pretty peaceful. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to surface to get some air. Because we're pretty pretty far down. Uh, and then we're going to... Well, we, we know to look for the reef backs. I don't know if those things move. Uh, they might. But I think we're going to mark exactly the direction that we're headed to the pod. And then come back. So the pod is... Right in between south and southeast, roughly. Oh, we can see it. That's pretty cool. So we just went ahead, okay, right between north and northwest. Okay, I'm actually writing that down because next episode we are going to venture back and make a habitat out there. I, th I think that's the goal. You know, I wanted to find the island. I was so excited to you know, get the footage of the island and be like, wow, this is what we're doing. And realistically, it just didn't happen. Alright, so left click consumes. We need a, you know, we're surviving. I'll give us that. We're surviving, but we, we're not thriving. And I, I, you know, actually, we're probably not even going to make, be able to make the, uh, either the laser cutter or the, uh, habitat builder, because we never found any of the silver that we needed. However, and I believe that this is actually more paramount, we, yeah, I was trying to, just trying to stealth my way through this field didn't work. Uh, what's even more paramount is we found the laser cutter blueprints in general, so... Where's our pod? There it is. Now, this thing's about to run out of power. Before we venture back out here, we might want to build another one. I kind of want to know... Oh, we can exchange the power resource. Battery. Okay, so... So battery holds a charge. That's interesting. I did not know that. I believe I completely thought it was just a battery, and when the device ran out, the device ran out. So we do have a a, uh, a spare battery back at the pod. Uh, I think we were going to use it uh, in something. I don't I don't recall what specifically, but I think we did want it. Uh, but that's okay. I think we need to have a sea glide at all times, especially if we're going to be moving from A to B. Oxygen. Definitely take that copper. Thank you. So what else is on the to-do list? 
I believe our to do well, well, you know, I said the habitat, but realistically, inventory full, huh? Let's see about that. Did we drink all our water? We did not. Uh, realistically, we could go explore the Aurora uh, before we decide where to build our habitat. Now, my thinking with that, you know, we can we can pass on the titanium, but we should probably stop breaking rocks. My thinking on exploring the Aurora first is that I feel like it's the long game, right? Like, we're going to go into the Aurora. We're going to... Excuse me. We're going to go into the Aurora. We're going to uh, explore most of it. And then we're going to have to do something else before we can explore the rest. I, my video game sixth sense is telling me that that thing is going to be... Uh, several trips, no matter what we do. Now, it could be wrong. Let's play this message and uh, fabricate some stuff, and then we'll end the episode. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay, so we need diamonds um, before we do anything. Okay, so let, let's let's start let's start like this. Uh, what do we need? We have some fish. Eat it. Okay, battery. I don't know what we do with our old batteries, so. Okay, beautiful. That thing's powered up. Uh, what do we need? We want a habitat builder. We need a computer chip, a battery, and a wiring kit. Computer chip. Battery. Wiring kit. Okay, now to my knowledge, we have not found any diamonds. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay. Uh, beautiful. Disinfectant water. We need bleach. That's coral tube and... Salt. Okay. Now, carrying a beacon would actually probably be a good idea. Okay. We can take our med kit. Okay. So, dump some things in containers and uh, we'll call it there. Uh, I don't remember what is what anymore. So this is this is general eggs, I guess. Uh, looks like we are out of egg space. Titanium, okay. More titanium. We'll put some lead in there too, why not? Salt. Okay. Cave sulfur. We do need that for something. Oh, we need uh, that for... The laser cutter, I believe. But, okay. So, we'll get back in the pod. We'll save our game. And we'll end the episode. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. And I uh, hope to see you guys next time. If you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. And I will catch everyone later. See ya.